Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining this session uh, where myself and Frederick are talking about shipping with Amazon through ATS uh, alongside of Ask in order to help move shipments between the UK and EU border. Uh, we'll go through and explain everything thoroughly, uh, but to start with, um, a quick introduction on myself and Freddie. Uh, so myself here, I'm part of the customs and trade team here at Avask um, and have been working in the shipping industry for many years and have been using this uh, knowledge to help clients move their goods between the UK and EU customs border. Um, over to you, Freddie. Good morning. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Um, as Toby's kind introduction um, towards me, I, I am part of the customs department as well. And um, I very much focus on the onboarding and trying to find um, fitting solutions um, to our clients um, when they first come to us with inquiries. Thank you, Freddie. And um, if you wouldn't mind, if you could just go through on what we're going to be discussing today um, in this webinar. Yeah, definitely. So um, during this webinar, we'll be talking about um, the challenges of Brexit, um, as we still have a couple of clients that come to us um, with issues that we've encountered. Um, I mean, it is, a, it is the same old song that we um, do here. But uh, yeah, so we, we will essentially um, find you help that missing puzzle piece in order to get you across um, either to the EU or the UK, depending on where you're based um, and what your plans are. Um, to, to, yeah, to help you get those goods across. Um, we'll be talking about the shipment journey, specifically part of this ATS promotion, and um, we're walking you through from step one to uh, the very end um, when it does arrive in the FBA. Um, and um, we'll be walking you through the costings, transit times, and uh, routes. And then um, we'll go also go into further detail for the UK seller's point of view want to ship into the EU and uh, vice versa for the EU sellers. Um, and possibly at the very end, uh, most importantly, is the sign-up process. And um, if, um, if that's a solution that would uh, very much benefit you, then we would um, also invite you to, um, to register and then, um, yeah, potentially help you get your goods across. Brilliant. Thank you very much for that, Freddie. And um, yeah, really exciting to be able to inform um, the selling partners of this new promotion. Uh, before we get to how the promotion works and how you sign up and uh, what, what the benefits are, um, I think it's good to, as you said, do a bit of a throwback on why we're in this situation and what has changed because of Brexit. So Brexit, the, it, it was going on for many years before and discussions took place, but the 1st of January 2021 is where we saw the majority of the changes from a customs and a shipping side. Um, and we've, we've speaking to the sellers, there's been many changes. Um, and I think 1st of January was a, a big date in the sort of e-commerce industry for um, storing and moving inventory between the UK and the EU. So just to recap, on the 1st of January, it was the end of the free movement between the UK and the EU. So there was a customs border introduced, meaning that import declarations and export declarations would be required for any goods uh, transiting between the UK and the EU, which weren't needed before. This does come along with uh, other things such as the introduction of import duties, import VAT. Many clients were needing to um, look at raising commercial invoices and shipping paperwork. Um, and this all came at the same time at sort of 1st of January 2021 for movements between the UK and the EU. Um, so since then, um, Freddie and myself, we've been in contact with many um, sellers, uh, lots of e-commerce um, sellers and found there's been lots of changes. Uh, beforehand, it, it may have seemed quite easy in the sense where if you could get the goods into the UK, they would be um, able to be easily stored around the whole of Europe and vice versa. If you could get the goods into any FBA in the EU, they would also be automatically distributed into the UK via the, the Pan-EU system. So th th this is where we are now. And as, as mentioned by Freddie, it's uh, how we're still talking about this are even 12 months after it's, it's come into place is, um, is a, a bit annoying. However, we'd net like to come up with solutions and with this uh, promotion, we can look at reintroducing um, a smooth way of getting goods across the UK EU borders. 
just on to okay. the next slide and uh, Freddie, if, yeah, if you can run through a bit more information about this promotion and um, why, why it's needed. Yeah, so um, part, part of this promotion um, is there's a sole focus on um, parcel shipments, um, as we have encountered a few of um, Amazon sellers um, are, are sort of a little bit terrified of shipping from UK to the EU or, vice, uh, or the other way around. And um, we just wanted to cater to that. Um, so what we wanted to do is um, provide a simple solution for them to get them accustomed into selling into either the UK or the EU again. And um, I think the best way to start with that is um, for most people would be then parcels. And um, we sat down with um, Amazon and we um, pretty much worked out a promotion um, with them as we've got close ties with them. And then just trying to figure out what would be the best way for um, sellers to import into those countries again and getting their stock across um, as, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's probably best beneficial to them if they get to move their stock as easily as possible again. And um, that's partly why, why we thought um, this promotion in itself would be very beneficial to them. Perfect, thank you Freddie. And just on, just on that, I think you made a really good point where we have seen seller confidence at times um, has, has lowered because of Brexit and there has been confusions. Uh, we, we deal a lot with the AT services here at Avast. We have seen that a client's looking at deregistering perhaps because of the confusion and um, around Brexit. And I think this, this promotion will help clients be able to move inventory between the UK and the EU. And as Freddie mentioned, there's a minute, there's not really um, a minimum. You can send one carton to test the water um, in order to, to look at start storing both in the UK and the EU. Um, so that, that's a further sort of on why this promotion is um, going to be helping out sellers. Just um, on that, it's, uh, what we'll do is we'll go through a little bit of information on how this promotion will work. We've seen a lot of shipments previously were maybe getting sent to the EU and being returned sometimes many months later. Um, and what we've really uh, gone through is a, a, a journey of how a shipment will go um, from uh, your warehouse to the final FBA centre across the customs border. Um, so Freddie, if you were able to sort of run through uh, the beginning of this process. Yeah, definitely. So from, from a seller's point of view, um, it's, it's a fairly simple process. Everything you've got to um, focus on is, is merely getting your stock to this Amazon source center. So what you would do is um, you, you book a shipment with your local courier. If you're, for instance, based in the, in the UK, it would be UPS. If you're based in the EU, um, it would be DHL. And then getting it to that um, source center would, would be your main priority. As from that moment onwards, what Amazon would do is, um, is then moving it across border with us acting at the customs border. Um, and uh, yeah, so we, we would essentially make sure that um, it gets cleared at customs um, and with the shipments going out every Wednesday, um, we would prefer if you were to get us the documents in um, at least two days prior um, so that we can then make sure that your shipments get out um, into your destination country um, with, uh, with that transport moving out on, on Wednesday specifically. Um, but that's, that's pretty much how the beginning process um, of, of your shipments would look like. Main focus being those to um, your local career. Um, we're looking into introducing further local careers in order to help you and get a little bit of um, a different rate so you can compare them, getting that Amazon source center. Um, but, that's, but that's something we're looking on introducing relatively soon. So that's not something we have at the moment. Perfect. Thank you for just to reiterate um, that. So the first part of the journey, it will be in your warehouse, whether that's in your local 3PO or in your garage, um, you would need to be responsible for the first leg of the journey. And this would be getting it from your warehouse to a sort centre. And this would be in the same uh, jurisdiction of um, where, where the goods are. So if you were a UK seller, and we will go into this process a bit more of the split of if you're a UK based seller or if you're an EU based seller, but you would need to get it to the local sort center. There are certain couriers that you will have to use um, and you will have to pay for this part of the journey. And when it gets to the sort center, so step two, this is where ATS Amazon Transport Services will take over uh, the, the transport side of things. So 
when it, uh, you get it to the sort center and then Amazon transport services will get it from the sort center to uh, the destination. So it will cross through the customs border um, and eventually to, or to the FBA center. It is worth noting that between steps two and steps three, there is this customs border between the UK and the EU. And this is where Avast will come into play because we will smoothen the customs declarations for you. So you will have to get your shipment to the domestic sort center and you will have to provide information to Avask on what items you are sending so that we can complete an export declaration and an import declaration. We will go through this with you and make sure that everything is correct. And once the documentation and every, we have everything we need, we will liaise directly with Amazon Transport Services to take the burden off of you. We are getting um, a couple of question, questions in regarding um, step two and three and how long that transit is. Um, if you'd like to elaborate on that um, a little bit, um, as I think when I went over, it wasn't uh, abundantly clear, but. It's um, from, from shipment when the delivery leaves the step two um, sort center to step three. Um, leaving step two would happen on Wednesdays and ideally they arrive on the um, sort center of step three on uh, Fridays and then they would get delivered to your FBA directly. Um, yeah, that's if you want to have anything to that. Yeah, and just to elaborate on that is at the moment we, we're seeing about one weekly departure, but we are expecting in the coming months there to be more than one weekly departure, which is going to um, help increase the transit time, um, or sorry, help decrease the transit time um, in order to make sure that your inventory is getting checked into the FBA centres um, in a um, efficient manner. Just to go through, because we've talked about how operationally um, the shipment would get from A to B, uh, but what we'd like to touch upon is some of the be benefits of this promotion. Um, so, Freddie, if you're able to run through some of these. Um... Yeah, definitely. So um, one of the biggest questions we get asked is obviously how, how much is it and um, why would we do it? Um, so for in, in terms of costs that you would face, um, especially if you're looking to ship, um, as you're a new shipper or someone who's looking to set up the EU or UK again. Um, I, when I speak to clients, I often get a little bit of a pause after I mention the fees, purely because they expect me to go on. But um, the only fees that you'd face are the local career fees. So from um, getting them from your warehouse, your garage or your home to that sort center um, in your, your local sort center. And then those 15 euros for brokerage costs. So it is very, very, um, yeah, it is, it is ex extremely good for if you're looking to set it up. Um, and possibly even if you have a few shipments that you want to get through um, and you're using sort of, um, yeah, uh, and there is, as there is no limit for how many um, passes you can ship through this promotion, um, you can really make use of the, the low fees that you'd incur. Um, through it. Um, it is up to three HS codes for 15 euros. Um, any HS code there, there on after would be five pounds extra. Um, so if you're someone who sells uh, the same product, but in higher quantities, then this might be the solution you're looking for. Um, if, um, yeah, if, uh, Toby, would you like to elaborate a little bit on the shipping routes that there are, that there are in place? Yes, certainly. And I think just want to reiterate the no international shipping fees, as I'm sure many sellers have faced increasing international shipping fees, especially since um, the start of the pandemic. We've seen issues in the supply chain from the uh, from China and um, other countries where there's there's a lot of imports and we've seen rising fees. So just to reiterate, if you get the shipment to the domestic sort centre um, with the local courier, um, at the moment there are certain couriers you will need to use, but this will be um, an expanding list, but there is no further international or cross-border shipping fees. Um, with regards to the shipping routes, uh, there, we, there's three avenues at the moment which we are able to assist with moving inventory. So for UK based sellers, it can either go from UK to France and or it can go from UK to Germany. Wherever you are sending your inventory, you are going to need the VAT number in the country of destination, um, but we can make sure that everything is correct prior to shipping, such as um, you know, the EORI numbers. 
There is also the uh, potential deferment of import VAT. And I know that when uh, the UK has introduced postponed VAT accounting, which has been a, one of the big benefits of, uh, of Brexit and uh, cash flow. Uh, so with regards to the EU sellers, they will be able to ship from Germany to the UK. It will be that if you are an EU seller, which isn't uh, based in Germany, you would need to send your goods to the sort centre, which is based in Germany. And then Amazon Transport Services would be responsible for the logistics of moving it from Germany to FBA in the UK with the baskers uh, on the customer side of things. With regards to import VAT, uh, there is the potential deferment of this on all three shipping um, lanes. We've seen France um, introduce a similar system to the UK in terms of PVA. And where we're sending goods into Germany, the goods are actually imported by the Netherlands. Um, the goods are cleared uh, using limited fiscal representation. And it means that if the goods are departing Netherlands, as they will be going straight on to Germany, the import VAT can uh, be delayed to be paid at the time of import, which is a real benefit for cash flow and something that's helping um, our sellers uh, on this promotion. When we say established shipping routes, I think this is something that um, at the start of Brexit was a bit of a shock to many transport agents. And we've been in communication with, with lots of different providers. And I think originally there was a case of we were seeing shipments being returned and the, the new documentation was tricky for everyone to get their heads around. But these are established yeah. shipping routes. We've got um, we've got had many parcels go through these these routes. So we're, we're confident that, um, you know, this is a solution um, in, in terms of uh, getting inventory across the, the customs border. Just to go in a, a bit more detail, and, um, Freddie, I know you've been discussing with many UK sellers since Brexit and speaking about the blockers or, or what's uh, maybe stopped them uh, selling so much in the EU. So perhaps if you can expand on this, uh, we can go through a bit more detail on just sort of how UK based sellers will be able to benefit from this promotion. Yeah, so um, initially what we had experienced is when they were moving stock into the EU, they weren't aware of many of the requirements. Um, so as they're a legal body in the UK, they would often require someone who is representing them in the EU if they're intending to move stock. And that came to surprise to many um, of our clients. So what we um, kind of set up for them to do is that they'd be able to use our customs service in order to, to you know, provide them that solution. Um, so we now offer a so-called indirect representation in order to get um, or to, to be jointly liable for the shipment debt um, that they then create. Um, what we essentially do is we offer our legal um, body to be within the jurisdiction of the customs authorities in the EU. Um, and then part of this promotion, we then take focus on parcel shipments, B2, um, B2B directly, and then um, we, we intent uh, to assist as many as possible really perfect no thanks very much i think that's a really good point where um we've seen a lot of shipments get returned due to not having an indirect representative or somebody in the eu who is happy to take on that joint liability of your customs debt and that's where avask really will help you out with this promotion so we're partnered with uh, amazon transport services who are going to be doing the transport but avask will be there to ensure that you've got the the customs declaration and the indirect representations so that this is really a door-to-door -door solution uh, just going on a bit more detail in how the booking process will work for UK uh, based entities and it is worth noting still that this is for UK based sellers and uh, the process is slightly different for EU sellers which we will come on to um, later in this webinar. So for UK based sellers, you would need to book the shipment in on your Amazon seller central as you would for any shipment that is going to an FBA. Um, so you would go onto your seller central, select the units of inventory that you were looking to send, and you would send them into the relevant FBA. For example, if you were sending a shipment from the United Kingdom and you wanted to send it to Germany via this pro promotion, you would select the units and you would receive a unique, unique FBA reference. When you have this reference, you will also need to book the shipment with a local courier and get it to the sort center. So the sort center is in Weybridge, and you can see this on the right hand side of the screen now. 
at the moment you do have to use ups in order to send the goods there however this is looking at being expanded and we hope in the coming months there'll be multiple options for who you can use to send your goods to the sort center you will have to pay the cost to the local courier so in this case ups of getting it to weybridge once you've put your shipment on fba and you've put your shipment on ups to the sort center you will need to provide customs information to avask and there is a portal where we will uh, we will obtain this information for you. It will save things if you're sending multiple shipments. So if on the second time of booking, things like commodity codes will be remembered in order to make it a smooth and easy journey for you. It is worth noting that we do have a team here at Avask, and we understand that there has been a, a drop in confidence at times of getting goods across this customs border. So we're more than happy to help walk you through this first shipment, and we're on hand to help you with all legs of this. We can talk you through the process of booking it in on FBA, talk you through the process of sending it with UPS, and also talk you through uh, getting the customs information to Avask on our portal. Going on to the next uh, next step here, and we're talking more about focusing on EU-based sellers. Um, so for EU-based sellers, it hasn't been getting um, your inventory into the FBAs in the EU, which has been the major concern. It's mainly been about getting the goods into the UK. And Freddie, I know you've had many discussions um, with, with German and EU clients. Uh, perhaps you could provide some feedback on you know, what the blockers have been and, uh, and how we can help that. Yeah, definitely. So since um, you know Brexit, um, before before that happened, the UK really was the hub for distribution um, in terms of getting your goods moved across Europe um, for for a lot of the European sellers. Um, and as the UK um, was the biggest e-commerce market, that's that's really something a lot of the sellers wanted to utilize as well. Just having main their main storage uh, facilities be in the UK for it then to be distributed. Um, by Amazon, so that's that's something we're we're um, trying to. Uh, it's a similar setup. So essentially, what will be happening now um, is we're trying to allow sellers to to send it to that local um, sort center in in Germany um, to then be distributed or to then be transported by Amazon um, back into the UK with us. Similarly, as it's um, the other way around to the EU, um, we'd be then doing the customs um, for for those shipments uh, into the UK. Um, so we, uh, what we've noticed is that a lot of the times there seem to be also quite a few language barriers um, with communication at customs. And as we support um, around 20 different languages here at Avast, we really do tailor to, to those needs. Um, we, we even have an account manager set for you if you do look on to, to join part of this promotion. Um, so they would then be able to, um, yeah, uh, allow better communication towards yourself and, and the shifting of your goods for you to worry about um, something else <laughs> rather than the customs, which, uh, no, which I'm rather tiring at times. Yeah, I think that's a great point, Freddie. I mean, we can take out the, uh, the confusion of the, the customs and uh, things that probably uh, sellers will not want to be spending their time doing. So uh, we can uh, take the confusion out of there. Uh, we will offer you the indirect representation as an EU entity you will require importing into the UK um, and making sure that all of your shipping documents and commodity codes are correct, which uh, we understand has been a bit of a, a, a blocker and a pain point for, for many clients. Um, just focusing now on a little bit of how, how the, the process would work for EU sellers, um, and it's very similar to how it would work for UK sellers in terms of you would need to get your shipment to the local sort centre. So the sort centre here is it's in Germany and it's just west um, of Dortmund um, in Germany. Uh, with regards, you would need to get your shipment sent to this sort centre and the provider that you can use at the moment is DHL um, and would like to reiterate, we hope that there's going to be more options than just one courier for getting your goods to the sort centre. Again, you would need to book your shipment in on Amazon FBA or on Amazon Seller Central to obtain an FBA reference. And once you've obtained this FBA reference, you can provide Avask the customs information on the, uh, that we require on the portal. 
With regards um, to, to everything else, it will be then a case of you sending your shipment to the local sort centre and ensuring that Avask have got the information. Avask and Amazon Transport Services will then liaise in order to get your shipment across the customs border and into Amazon FBA in the UK. Just going through now, and um, one of the things we haven't talked about is how you uh, can receive this promotion and what you can um, and, and how you go about getting started. So if this is, this is something that um, you that you are interested in, or if you have uh, are looking at shipping across the customs border and you're not sure, you can reach out um, to myself, Freddie, and we'll provide our contact details um, in the in the correspondence um, after this. Freddie, if you are able to just give a, a quick talk about the the sign up process and how a seller would look at um, coming to a vast an ATS um, in order to get their shipments across the border. Yeah, definitely. So currently it's an invite only. Um, however, we, we can try and see if we can't push eligibility, um, but it is um, up to Amazon at the end of the day. Um, essentially how it's currently set up is um, you we would give you this, um, this document that you've seen in the previous slide and uh, there is a link that you can click in order to uh, fill in a form. Um, now, with that, uh, some basic information about your uh, your company and your seller account on Amazon, um, stating your Amazon token. And with that information, Amazon will then um, essentially um, uh, see if you if you can't be eligible for the promotion. Um, we're seeing some traction of and Amazon uh, allowing more and more sellers to join this promotion, so it's definitely worth trying. Um, and as soon as that's um, sort of open for anyone to use, we will be able to. Um, facilitate with that by sending out the links um, to you directly um, so that you can sign up. Um, once, once it's been proven eligibility and we're happy that we've got all of the details from Amazon, um, we will grant you access to our portal in order to, um, to, in order to book clearances. Once you've received that access, we will also give you a ring to introduce it to your account manager and that person will essentially know the ins and outs of all of your shipments through that portal and they'll be able to help you accordingly. Um, so that's that's really pretty much the the shipping process on that. Um, and, and until you've um, booked your first shipment, I guess uh, it, it's best if um, if you have a look on the portal in itself, try and see how you can um, how you can operate it, and then um, and then we'll be able to uh, accustom to your needs. Perfect. Thank you, Freddie. Just to reiterate on this, at the moment with this promotion, it is invite only. Uh, Amazon have been sending out links, so it's worth checking your emails to see if you have received any correspondence regarding this promotion. Uh, if not, please do reach out to myself and Freddie. We can, um, we, can, we can check and see if you are able to. So please do get in contact if this is something that you feel that you may have not been sending as much inventory uh, between the UK EU border that you would have liked over the last 12 months, please do get in contact um, and we can um, look to check your eligibility or even provide other solutions um, for getting your goods between the UK and the EU. Um, on screen now you can see myself and uh, Freddie and you can see our uh, the contact email address. We will send out some um, further links. We will be running many more webinars like this where we um, will be able to uh, take some questions if, you, if there are any that you do have, if you haven't been able to contact us um, thoroughly. Um, Freddie, would you like to start off on the question side of it? Um, yeah, definitely. So um, on the Q&A section right now, one of the ones we see predominantly is how do we calculate duty and VAT? Um, I'm happy to take that on um, for for uh, duty and VAT. Um, if once you once you upload um, your uh, performer invoice or your commercial invoice on the portal, um, we we would then essentially um, calculate the duty for you. Um, for the VAT, um, there is there is the option to defer that. Um, so if you're going through the Netherlands, then um, we'll be using or utilizing Article 23. In which, um, in which you do not have to pay for it in full VAT, so it's not something you'd have to worry about. Um, if you're shipping to um, to the UK directly, I think it'll be worth reaching out to us, and we we can maybe try and see if, um, if we can't find a solution for you. 
Um, I don't know, Toby, would you like to add anything to that? Yeah, no, I think everything, just to add on, with regards to the portals, so you'll provide the information for customs, um, so we'll need item sort of information. We'll then generate the shipping paperwork. So with regards to raising um, invoices, Avast will take the confusion um, out, out of that. Um, so yeah, a good question there. We do see a lot of um, how, how, how are we going to calculate these. Avast will calculate it for you and we'll let you know how much there is to pay with regards to import duties, if there are any. Yeah, so that's really streamlining the whole process for you. Um, now we've got a question asking if uh, we get a separate invoice or if the seller gets a separate invoice for a duty and or VAT um, prior to shipping. Cool, so I could take this one on, Freddie. So with regards to um, import duties and VAT, uh, this would all be calculated separately. So at the time of booking, you'd provide item information to a VASC and there would be uh, the customs brokerage uh, which is 15 euros, which includes up to three commodity codes, and that covers both your export paperwork and your import paperwork. When the amount of the import duties and, if applicable, import VAT has been calculated, we will send you some further correspondence of informing you exactly how much that is and, and, how, and how to pay that. And we've got some asking how long do shipments take? So um, for, for the shipments in itself, the transit time we're currently looking at around three um, days. Um, if, if that is, of course, um, if we do manage to get all the relevant document uh, documents prior to, to Wednesday when the truck actually leaves. Um, so it is, it is uh, of, of the essence um, for us to get those documents and then we can try and get you on the next um, earliest uh, um, truck departing really. It's a great um, point, Freddie. And just, just to add in on there, if, if I may, uh, with regards to how quick the shipment, we do rely on the, the selling party to provide some information to us for customs. And also it is uh, the selling party uh, partner's responsibility to get their shipment to the sort centre. So, yeah, depending on those facts is going to determine how, how long it will take. At the moment, we've discussed about the weekly departures and, and you mentioned three, uh, three working days from the departure is an approximate time for how long it will take to get checked into FBA. But in the future, we are expecting there to be more than one weekly departure. So uh, we're hoping transit time will be um, you know, a, a real benefit to this promotion. And we've got uh, a question asking, uh, how do we create the commercial invoice? So yeah, I think we touched upon this one in, a, in the previous question in the sense where um, you will provide the information to a vast of what you are sending. Uh, we will need all of the information in terms of commodity codes and countries of origin um, and how many items and, and what these items are. As your indirect representative for customs, we're jointly liable for the, the customs debt and information resulting from your shipment. So we'll, we've got a, uh, we'll double check the information that's provided um, and generate the, the shipping paperwork, uh, which will be needed to get the goods across the customs border. That would, um, it would possibly be worth uh, mentioning that for, in order to um, calculate the true value of your consignments, so you'll be using cost price methods. Um, so that just to, just to limit any confusions on there, um, for the commercial invoice that is of course um and we've got a question regarding uh, what are commodity codes um so those are essentially the codes that um that tell you what what an item is specifically so it's almost like a barcode specific to an item it's it's uh, a set number that would essentially tell you what an item is made of and uh, what it consists of um, specifically it will also give you some details regarding um, what duty rate uh, would be applicable to the item. Um, got another question here. How long is the promotion on for? Yeah, so at the moment, the promotion is it's, um, looking to be a, a long term solution for sellers to get their parcels and shipments um, across the customs border. Um, there isn't an end deadline. However, um, you know, it's definitely worth checking to see if you are eligible, checking your emails and uh, getting in contact um, with us 
to double check. Um, but yeah, we, it's not something which we're expecting um, to be short term. What is the maximum number of boxes that can be sent and what is the maximum weight? Um, so yeah, we, we previously touched upon this a little bit. Um, there is no maximum number of boxes that or parcels that you want or that can send. Um, by all means, if you want to create a trial shipment and send a single one, that's completely fine. Um, and equally, if you want to send um, a few more between five and 10 or 20, depending on what your stock availability is, um, then yeah, we can accommodate for that. Uh, that is not a problem. Um, the maximum weight, we're currently looking at 23 kilograms. Yeah, and I think that falls in line with uh, Freddie. Uh, Freddie, it falls in line with Amazon's guidelines for small parcel deliveries. Um, so yeah, twenty three kilograms is the the maximum weight, and the dimensions are approximately sixty by sixty by sixty. But this is following what Amazon are able to accept um, as a small parcel delivery. So in line with that. If, if you are have uh, shipments which are out of, uh, you know, much larger, if you are looking at moving containers, we, we may have some solutions. So in those instances, um, I would look at uh, reaching out. We can support you with the customs and remove all confusion there um, and work alongside transport providers in order to um, help you with that. And we've got a question here that is, we're seeing a lot of uh, likes to it. Um, so it's question is how does ATS differ to EFN? Sure, and it's a, a great question and one that we, um, we you know, will try and simplify for, for sellers. Um, so this promotion is all about moving your inventory between the UK and the EU border so that you can store your goods in both the UK and in EU FBAs. Uh, this means that you're selling goods, you're close to the sellers, you may be prime eligible, um, but it's about the movement of inventory. Um, with regards to EFN, this is a, a different way of fulfilling orders, and it's where if you are selling uh, goods um, at the time of sale, your goods will be in the other customs jurisdiction. So if you're uh, storing in the UK and you've got an EU order on the EFN, um, it, it, on the EFN network, it would go from the UK to the EU and cross the customs border each time you got an order. With the ATS, it's, it's different because you would move a bulk of your inventory and it would be stored close to your final um, close to your final purchase um, is the idea. So, yeah, brilliant the, for sellers that the EFN um, has uh, is coming back after um, a, a disappearance sort of since Brexit. Uh, but they are different promotions, these, and uh, they have different benefits. I think it's also worth mentioning that... Um... On the, on the um, if you're looking in long-term solutions, um, the EFN promotion for the for the parcels in itself, um, the price difference um, does uh, does amount a little bit higher for EFN compared to ATS. Um, so if you're looking for something to to find a, a solution to for long terms, then um, definitely um, I would also suggest uh, maybe looking into ATS. Um, I think that's that's pretty much it from all of the questions we have in at the moment. Um, I think it's also uh, possibly for, for any new sellers out there, uh, if you're looking to expand in your e-commerce market, the online hustle is always a good read. It's uh, very much like the the, uh, the Bible, the Holy Bible to uh, to any online seller. Um, it's something I'd I'd strongly recommend. I myself um, have read it through every now and then, uh, just as a guide to really. To really see what uh, what kind of uh, problems or issues an e-commerce seller might face and how to best prepare to them. Um, for me, it's always important to have that little bit of a, also an emotional connection or um, with sellers. So sort of naturally, um, for us, it's very important to provide every possible solution um, to you. Perfect. No, thank you very much. I would uh, agree with everything you've said there. A really good uh, toolkit. And um, I think you described it as the, the Bible of uh, e-commerce. So really uh, essential tool. Um, thank you, everyone, for, for your participation. We'll be running more sessions like this. So if you do have any questions, uh, please um, look out for the next session or feel free to contact um, either myself, Freddie, or any of the team. Um, and, and thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, everybody.